Tommy, thank you very much for joining us. Um, I just want to look back on the Halifax game. Um, what did you make of the performance? I think it was a better overall performance. Well, obviously the results are the most important thing at the moment. We start picking up some points, but in terms of performance, I think the boys we were better, we were more compact. We're obviously studying a new formation and I think it obviously takes a bit of time to get to, get to grips with it, but we're getting there and so our overall play was a bit better than older shot and I think we're going in the right direction. So yeah, it's all positive at the moment. And on a personal note for yourself, you must be delighted to get your first goal for the Daggers. Yeah, no, I was really delighted with that to be fair because so sometimes it could take a bit of time, a few, three or four games to score your first goal, but to get it in my second start, like, it was really good and hopefully from here on then I can continue scoring and continue putting in performances for the team. And obviously you've been here now for a couple of weeks, What's, how's it been you know, settling into the club? It's been good, like, the, the boys are good lads, obviously it's a very young squad so everyone's, everyone's all positive and all wants to pull together to you know, play football and mm -hmm. like, better themselves so it's a good environment to be fair, like, I've really enjoyed it so far and but no complaints, I'm just happy to keep my head down and keep doing what I'm doing. And obviously we're taking on Hartlepool on, on Saturday, a side you know quite well. Um, tell us about your time there and what that was like. It was, um, it was good, you know, uh, it, was a, it was a very different experience um, being so far away from home, but you know, it was a, it was a massive club and obviously a club, a club like that come with a, a massive expectation and I was just trying to get my foot in the door and play some games and it didn't quite work out, but you know, there's no hard feelings there, so I just, I'm going to go there with my new team and hopefully you know put a performance in and just uh, do well for Dagenham rather than thinking about getting one up on them rather just do well for the club I'm at now going forward. And what can you tell us is there any insight you can give us into the way that you know Hartlepool play or anything like that? Well they, obviously they've got a new manager who, who was there to be fair when I was there and they've got some new players so it'd be tricky to identify how they'll try and do things but Hartlepool, they'll always be a hard working side, good players, got some quality players there. So it, it will be a tough game, but I'm sure if we get it right, we'll, we'll be good value for the for the win. And then obviously on, on Monday, on back of the Monday, we're taking on Barnet. Um, what are your thoughts on that game and going up into them? Well, it's obviously a, a quick turnover from Saturday, so the boys have to recover properly, but it will be a it will be a tough a tough game, you know. So it's a some a little derby, I guess. But we'll be the boys will be looking forward to it. We cover well, and hopefully, it's a it's an important few days for the club. We need to pick up as much points as we can in the next five days. So everyone's positive, you know. We'll pull it together, and I'm sure the points will start to come in, and the performances will keep getting better. And how difficult is it as a player, you know, with only with three days and, and two games in that period, how difficult is that? It's tough, but I guess it's part and parcel of, of the job, really. You've got to be prepared for anything. As long as you recover well, you you be professional, and obviously I'm sure the boys will recover properly, then everything should take care of itself, you know. Like, we, we can't make excuses because the same thing we're going to have to do, they're going to have to do as well, so there's no, there's no... There's no excuses, but yeah, the boys will recover properly, you know, everyone, everyone's very professional and carry themselves in a professional manner, so 